Ever since I have become involved with reporting on what's been going on with the child maintenance service, so many people have emailed me with their stories, and to be quite frank, they're horrific, exactly what they've been put through by this organisation. Now, if this is you, or if this is something that uh, you've been having to deal with, subscribe to the channel because you want to hear this information. And also, there's a catalogue of other uh, videos and stories and everything on here which you could really relate to and if uh, you know you do need help while there isn't the initial legal help available I can put you in touch with resources that are actively recording information uh, to use later down the line to try and get this whole mess sorted out now there is a very uh punchy article that I got sent a day or two ago and the link to it is there uh, it's done by the Epoch Times and it's all about uh, serious concerns raised over the accounts of the child maintenance service and I want to read you some uh, prudent things on here right now uh, the Auditor General of the National Audit Office has raised serious concerns about the financial statements of the key account run by the Child Maintenance Service in a bombshell report released originally on December the 6th, so not that long ago. Sitting within the Department for Work and Pensions, the CMS is an agency responsible for overseeing the collection and management of financial support for children when parents live separately. In theory, that is correct. That's what it's supposed to be about. We obviously know there's more to it. It has gained notoriety in recent years due to concerns over its effectiveness in assessing paying parents and assisting children's primary carers in receiving funds. The Client Funds 1993 and 2003 Child Maintenance Scheme Account, CMSA, is a financial mechanism managed by the CMS. It deals with funds related to child maintenance payments. When non-resident parents owe child maintenance, those payments go through the CMSA. The account tracks these financial transactions and ensures that the collected funds are appropriately distributed to the parent with care or the Secretary of State. The CMA, Now, this is the key part where there is a problem, a very big problem. The CMS inherited a legacy of over £3.7 billion in uncollected arrears from its forerunner, the Child Support Agency, based off the 1993 and 2003 CMSA in 2012. Doubts have grown over the legitimacy of the inherited debt after a former minister and senior MP both called for a full public inquiry into the CSA and CMS's historical practice of inflating debts. Now, this is the big thing here, this £3.7 billion in uncollected arrears. From what we're starting to learn, it, it doesn't exist. This is what is causing the big problem for thousands of parents, and the stories I hear are really, really bad. Uh, in the latest 2023 Client Funds Account Report, the NAO's controller and Auditor General, Gareth Davis, certified that the CMS's financial statements for the year ended March 31st, 2023, failed to properly present the statement of balances and its receipt and payments. He highlighted significant technical issues, stating that these financial statements do not adhere to the Government Resources and Accounts Act 2000 and HM Treasury directions. The NAO has refused to regularise the CMS's financial statements regarding the 93 and 2003 CMSA in any of their year-end reports since the agency's inception in 2012. In short, they're not right. While acknowledging that income and expenditure align with Parliament's intentions, Mr Davis qualified his opinions due to irregularities resulting from transactions not conforming to legislation, notably a substantial portion of receipts from non-resident parents amounting to nearly £30 million of the incorrect amounts, raising further questions about the accuracy of child maintenance payments. So it all roots back to this original big debt that was inherited across, which 
isn't right, isn't genuine, and it's caused all these problems. You type in child support agency issues within the internet and so many horrific stories. That article does go on, and I'm going to try and break down some other parts of it. But please, if you are affected by any of this, share this video. If you are affected by any of this and you want your story out there, which will help others get in contact and again, share this video. It's ever so, ever so important. If you want to watch any of my other child maintenance videos, I've got one there for you, which you can watch. And as always, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.